supplemental education, you know, going there during the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, um, you know, the, my ability to meet like Christian house, yeah. big early influence of mine, um, getting to meet him and seeing another jazz violinist yeah. who's like, wow, okay, this guy is incredible and had so many great, uh, pieces of advice for me that really were extremely helpful for, for overcoming some things and, yeah. um, and, uh, my, it helped my development along and mm-hmm. then I ended up. Uh, going to heart and was able to um, kind of hang in the the jazz scene there which uh, it was the Jackie McLean school Jackie McLean great uh, sax player yeah. one, one of the kind of one of the uh, last of, of that generation wow. you know he hung out with Sonny Rollins etc and um, so he was in in New York at that scene and uh-huh. he was there two years when I was there before he passed away but I got to see him um, and it was it was that that heart was definitely more in the New York hard bop scene, which at that time and and still now I love that stuff. But at that time, that was actually a big thing because I, I, for a while I was kind of like uh, kind of I kind of had this phase in college where I wasn't as interested in gypsy jazz or I put it on the side because before college I was doing it. I had the Hot Club of Marlboro where I grew up and yeah. I played it with my dad and so. But I was like really interested in said it's trying to prove that violin can because yeah. violin naturally fits in gypsy jazz yeah. it's like of course you play yeah. that but i was like i was like what about throwing it into a setting yeah. um because one of my f- earliest influences period was charlie parker yeah yeah when i was around like 16 and 17 i only listened to charlie parker yeah, yeah. that's all i listened to for an entire year right and was like probably the only person in my high school who was like blasting Charlie yeah. Parker in my car and like singing along yeah. with it. Um, but I was obsessed with it. So that was one of my first influences and, um, you know, that, so, so that style that like bebop and post bebop and the, um, the more like hard bop as they call it, which is kind of what the contemporary, um, version of bebop, um, with a little more modern edge. Yeah that was what I was interested in um, yeah. and I wanted to be taken seriously yeah, as yeah. A, a violinist who could do that and so I was hanging out with a lot of saxophone players mm. um, bassists, drummers, pianists yeah. um, and I was the only jazz violinist yeah, so it was yeah. like you know that was it was kind of fun in a way but mm-hmm. it was also like I was constantly having to prove it myself and, yeah, and do yeah, that yeah. Um, but it you know it was it was a great great experience for me. This I mean, having challenges like that definitely helps your playing. Um, you yeah. know, if everyone just tells you you're great all the time, it doesn't yeah. really help. Yeah, you know, it's it's great for your self esteem, but not always great. Yeah, for if someone's like, man, you're not cutting it. Like that sax player can yeah. play changes. Over, you know. Yeah sometimes you need that and so i'm yeah. very i'm definitely more on the encouraging positive side but at the same time you gotta be real with with students or i was happy people were real with me about okay you're gonna encounter challenges in yeah. to be taken seriously in the jazz world playing violin just because some people don't know or they don't know that they want that in their band or or yeah, yeah. you know what so you have to really play you have yeah. to really be able to play that you have to know the rep you have to know that and so so that at college i was like really into that yeah. um but all, at the same time uh, i was also really passionate about gypsy jazz yeah, and, yeah. and really taking that seriously as well and so okay, dur- yeah. during summer i was go, still going to those camps and yeah, yeah. still gigging and playing with people mm-hmm. and ultimately my first real professional gig was um my uh, during my senior year at heart i had got connected with john jorgensen a great uh, guitar player mm-hmm. who had the john jorgensen quintet one of the kind of the top groups in the u.s yeah doing uh kind of contemporary gypsy jazz and world music and you know i had, I had heard about him and uh i knew of his quintet but right when i was about to graduate another kind of like right timing right place um he was looking for a new violin player to tour oh, cool. and he was doing like 150 shows a year yeah. it was busy and it was good work uh, traveling and so he emailed me i was like 
just about to finish school. I can't, I want to finish. I don't want to drop out. And so he was nice enough. He gave me an audition. I got the gig and he was nice to let me finish school. Their violin player played basically did till I graduated, did it till I graduated. So great, really good segue into, uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, of course I, my whole life was prepared for that. I mean, because like what he wanted was somebody really classically have the classical edge and sound.